search high and low and bring some more. The Percy house is open since the curtain's been Thanks for tuning in again today for another episode of Music City Mondays. I'm really honored and thrilled to have with me the Pilgrim Project, which is made up of Jeff Calhoun and Rachel Crick. Welcome, guys. Thanks for having me. Uh, well, to start things off, I'd like to ask you guys just to take a few moments just to share with everyone how it is that you met, how you guys got together, and how the Pilgrim Project actually started. Rachel, tell, tell him how, how, we, uh, how we met, how we first kind of got stuck together. Well, Jeff's a music minister at a church in Kentucky in my hometown, and I was working there as a preschool music teacher, and we played together in a church service, and it, we just really hit it off, and um, so we started writing together, and we recorded an album of hymns together that we played for the church there, and then we started recording uh, writing some more experimental things and kind of developing our own style and rehearsing a lot and um, that was like what four years ago maybe five years it was uh, so it was around this time of year it was Lent uh, during the season of Lent in 2016 and yeah. uh, and, and we had uh, we pulled together like we were they, uh, our music minister at the time was doing this noon concert series. And she said, hey, could you and Rachel put something together? And so we put something wow. together, mostly instrumental. Uh, there were a few vocal tunes and it was all kind of reflective and meditative. And it was a really, really special moment. Like there was a chemistry there. There was, it was really transcendent. People, we probably had 150 people here and they, you know, like had, had musician friends here, had church people here, and, went, and a lot of people were just remarking, you know, like fi having trouble to find the words for it. So it was really special. And, uh, and right after that, we said, we need to record what we just did. Like, we need to record it. And so we recorded it all back in the chapel using my little, you know, I've got just a, you know, DOS, you know, a recording system, computer, audio interface, and we hook some mics up and record it and release that in October. And so that video that you're gonna share in a little bit is from that release concert. And, uh, and then we started writing together and, and just some really great things were happening uh, when we were writing together. Fantastic. And we have your first EP, The Pilgrim Project, all six songs on that EP available on Crowd Music. The link to that will be down below in the comments. So be sure to click on that after the interview here. But uh, Jeff and Rachel, why don't you guys tell us about uh, the song that we're going to feature here, uh, Mercy House, and just how that song was written, how that came about. So that was, uh, gosh, Rachel, was that one of the first songs we actually wrote together? Like yeah. Real yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, here, so here's how it happened, how that song happened. Uh, I had been doing a lot of, you know, over the past several years, a lot of theological reflection on some different themes in scripture. And one of them uh, dealt with these two pictures that are in the gospels. And one uh, is from uh, the crucifixion. And it says that when Jesus breathed his last breath, it said the veil of the curtain in the Holy of Holies. So in Jewish tradition, you know, you had this kind of progression in the temple. You know, you had the courtyards, the outer courts, you had the holy place, and then you had the Holy of Holies. And that was a right. place the Ark of the Covenant was, and, and the priests could, the high priest could go in there once a year. I mean, it was like a super holy place. And they would tie a rope to his leg. Right. And he went in there, and there was some blemish or stain or sin or whatever, because he would die. <laughs> Right. And they had to that, pull, they no had pull way, back out. <laughs> nobody else would want to go in there, right? Yeah. And it says when Jesus died, it, the curtain tore, and it was this really thick, multi-layered curtain. It tore from the top down to the bottom. And so there was this picture of what that meant, right? It meant God's not hiding in dark places behind curtains. God is out with the people, and actually God cross suffering. And then there's another picture where Jesus told a story about a banquet that this guy was throwing this huge banquet and he invited all of the, you know, the, the, you know, kind of the middle-class upper-class crowd in town and nobody showed up. 
right? Yeah. And, the, and so he told us, he said, well, I want you to go out into the highways and the byways, and I want you to invite the lame and the cripple and the beggar and the thief. And I mean, like all of, you know, society's lowest of the low. I want you to invite them all. And so he did. He went out and invited them all. And he goes, I've invited them all, and they're all here, but we still have room. He says, well, then go, like, go everywhere. Like, I want my house full. And so those two themes uh, really sparked something in me and about this image of the mercy house. You know, I kind of saw this house. It had tour curtains. The door was flung open, and it was just this, you know, everybody, you're, you're welcome to the feast. Like, come. Like, you're welcome to the feast. So, so I wrote that lyric, and, uh, and then I gave it to Rachel. And I said, Rachel, take this lyric, and I, I'm kind of thinking something bluesy. Come up with a melody, because Rachel has this melodic sense that's just really fantastic. And, and, uh, and so I said, take this, and I want you to come up with something, you know, some kind of melodic thing, and then I'll take it, and I'll do the same thing. And then, Rachel, you tell the rest of the story. And I, home, and I just kind of messed around with it and sang and... I waltzed into our rehearsal the next time we got together and I was like, I don't know, this is kind of what I was thinking. It's kind of felt right to me. And the curtains torn, the doors are open. Kind of saying what I had come up with. And he was like, um, well, this is what I came up with. And he <laughs> sang, the curtains torn, the doors are open. Only it was like offset by one beat. So we had really, really wow. this melody for this whole verse uh, wow. it was just like awesome, one beat and so I was like oh my gosh it's meant to be it's like music <laughs> yeah. it uh, was it really was it was kind of bizarre it was strange like yeah I started singing that and I was like that's the same melody I came up with but it was weird just cause beat one was displaced. Like her beat yeah. one was somewhere else in my beat one, but the melody was identical. And, uh, and we both had the same idea of this break, uh, you know, of an extended phrase. The, uh, the mercy house is open since the curtain's been torn. And it was, it was wow. serene. And we were like, wow, this is uh, okay. You know, <laughs> message <laughs> Yeah, apparently. Apparently. I think, I think you had a little bit of help in writing that there. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> well, really good. Well, folks, thanks for, for tuning in. And without any further delay, we're going to play a little clip from the song Mercy House.
again for tuning in. Be sure to support Jeff and Rachel and the Pilgrim Project. Click the links below. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and the reminder bell. And we'll look forward to seeing you next week. It's going to be Valentine's Day and we're going to be talking about love. We'll see you then.